Okay guys, so the Atomic Reconstructor is probably one of the most fundamental blocks you will find in actually additions. If you look at the most, one of the most basic recipes, for example a crusher, which used to double your ores, requires basic coils and it requires these things called redstonia crystals. And the only way you can get these is out of dungeon chests, or you can get them using the Atomic Reconstructor, which is what I'm going to be showcasing in this episode. So um, the most basic principle is you give it power. And by default, it will be in deactivation mode. And what this means is while it has power, it will just basically keep firing continually. So what, what I recommend you do is go and get yourself a redstone torch, and then you can right click it and you can toggle the redstone mode. Personally, I would keep it in pulse, which means that when it has a redstone signal, it will fire once. Okay, so to do any crafting in it, what you're going to need to do is basically get whatever you want to make. So, for example, redstone crystals are just redstone. You're going to place it in front of the um, atomic reconstructor. And what it's going to do is when you fire it, it's going to turn them straight into redstone crystals. Now, these are a very cheap recipe. Um, in fact, um, they're just 40 RF. Now, it does have a 1000 RF firing cost without any lenses. So, just bear that in mind. So, that was... Four, so for each piece of redstone crystal, that was 40 RF on top of the 1000 RF cost. So don't just leave this thing continually running and thinking it won't eat power. It will just eat power if you leave it continually running. So I definitely recommend you keep it in pulse mode. Now the final thing to talk about with the Atomic Reconstructor is lenses. Now you can get yourself in one of these fairly easily. It's just some glass surrounded by some black quartz. And with the lens itself, you can't really do much with it. So you can't really interact with the Atomic Reconstructor with it. So what you're going to want to do is um, put it into the Atomic Reconstructor. And then as you can see, you can continually reconstruct it and it will cycle through all the different lenses. So I'm going to go sh and showcase them all to you right now. Okay, guys, so the first lens I'm going to show you guys is the lens of colour. Now, to place a lens on, what you need to, need, need to do is right-click the face of the Atomic Reconstructor. Now, to take it off, you just empty hand right-click it, and you will get it in your hand. Now, something I want to showcase first is without any lenses, by default, it is stopped by the first block it hits. But notice if I put the lens of colour on, and I put a block that can be changed is in colour-wise, so like wool, and I fire it, it can go through more than one block, so as you can see, it's, um, I think it has a radius of about 15 blocks, but notice it can change more than one block at once. So as you can see, it will it'll cycle through all the colours of the rainbow. I believe it draws about 5000 RF per tick doing this. Yeah, so the lens of colour, definitely good if you want to change the colour of some wool, or any block that can really be changed colour-wise. It also works with carpet and I believe a few other blocks. Now the lens of detonation, um, I think I'm going to set this one a little bit further away, as this one is a little bit scary. So the range on this one is considerably further, I believe. So if I put it a piece of stone up here, what should happen is, is it should hopefully detonate the stone. So as you can see, I feel the explosion from stood here. So it's a fairly catastrophic explosion, so if you somehow hook this up, up some sort of defence system, you could definitely... Um, kill some people or definitely just destroy some structures. And the next one I'm going to showcase is the lens of certain death. I'm um, not sure if I want to showcase this one, but if I say get some spiders to sacrifice, I'll just make it daytime, and then I, you can probably guess what this one does. You then do that and you can kill um, mobs and players. Now, something to note with this lens of certain death. It can be crafted into a lens of the killer, and what this thing does is um, you'll notice that a lot of the times, um, like certain mod, certain mods, um, only drop things if players kill them. So what this allows you to do is sort of it will act as if a player killed it. So certain drops, like XP and stuff, that only drop if a player killed it. You can get stuff like that if you upgrade it to using a sharpness five book, diamond sword, and the lens of certain death. Now the next one is the Lens of Disenchanting. Now this one is a fairly interesting one. So what you want to do is place down and um, say something like your... So you say you have like a really cool enchant sword. So you say you have like a diamond sword with looting three. But you want to take that, that enchant off and you say you want to put it on say a different sword or something. What you can do is you can throw the thing that you want to disenchant down. Um, you can need to put a book down as well in the same plane. And then you can 
fire your laser, and now you have an enchantment for, loot, for looting three, and you have your disenchant disenchanted sword. So the final one to show you guys would probably be the lens of the miner. Now this thing does use a considerable amount of our RF, and it's crafted it in a different way. You use a lens, some gold, iron, diamond, coal, quartz, lapis, and some emeralds. So it's, it's a fairly pricey one. And if you look in the in the um, actual book, you'll notice it does consume 60,000 RF, and additional power depending on the rarity of the thing that it changes. So what you want to do is place down some stone in front of it, so I'll just put it here and stick my um, lens of the miner on. What it will do is it will change it to a random ore. So for example, this time it changed it to silver ore from immersive engineering. So it is compatible with certain mods. And unlike um, other lenses which have sort of an area of effect, this thing is will find the first block it sees and change it into an ore. Now, bear in mind, you can't continually fire it on the same block to get an ore that you want. You do have to replace the stone. So you can see now it's made some coal. So yeah, so it is totally random, you know, sort of what ore you will generally create. So I can see if I keep going through it. So there you go, I've got some iron. Now I'm not really sure why you would necessarily do this. I mean, if you have that much power that you can just keep doing this, then I suppose you can go for it. But in reality, it's not really the best way to go and find ores. Something to note though, is that it will work if you have netherrack instead of stone. So if I just get myself some netherrack, It does open the ability to um, get nether ores rather than just your standard overworld ores. So if I put the nether ores down, as you can see, I've just got some quartz. And you do have possibilities to get things like ardite and stuff. So if you're really struggling to get some cobalt and ardite and stuff from Tinker's Construct, mm, there's possibly a way to do it, but bear in mind, you will mostly get quartz due to the fact that ardite is a considerably rarer ore to find. So as you can see, I'm just getting quartz, but eventually you can get it to do stuff like ardite and other rare metals that you may find in the nether. Mainly, like I said though, you will just get quartz if you're doing the nether, but yeah, you do definitely have that possibility though to get um, other metal ores. So I think that about wraps up the spotlight guys for the Atomic Reconstructor. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave some feedback down if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you want me to show next time. Next time I believe I'm going to be doing the um, laser relay system from um, Actually Edition. So you get so I'm going to show, showcase in the energy laser relays and the fluid laser relay and both item laser relays. But I think that about draws the conclusion to this video. So thank you for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, goodbye from Potent Plum.